Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, and the first one I did, if you guys go check it out, uh, if you're really interested in training and strength training and understanding what it is to be strong, go check that one out. It was really good. I'm really happy with the way that one turned out. Check it out. But you guys saw the title of this video when you clicked on it. It's time to talk about current events or semi-current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing. Work on skilling up my crafting a little bit. Let's talk about this Bradley Martin guy, you know, because honestly, I don't know a lot about him. Now, I do know a few things about him now. Uh, but, you know, I did that video the other day because his name had come up with all the uh, WFN stuff and everything else. It had come up. And I said, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the guy. I don't know the situation. Uh, is it possible he's involved in some snitching there? Maybe. But you know what? I don't know. And I remember saying, I don't know much about the guy. Then some people pointed out to me, hey, Jason, yeah, you made a video on him once before, and I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I totally did. Uh, and I forgot. I absolutely forgot that he made a video that I liked. Uh, so it might have been last year. Uh, I covered it because he was talking about things wrong with this crazy online fitness community. Uh, and I'm not saying I agree with everything he said, but he's right. This whole community is messed up. It's full of con artists and everything else. Of course, there's a lot of people saying, you know, he's conning people too and stealing money and ripping people off also. Um, that's some of the claims that are being made. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? I made this other video before about him. I should look into this guy. Let's see what current events are going on with this guy. Anything interesting, anything worth covering? Uh, because Johnny Bravo had made a video about him, and I saw that. And Johnny Bravo is the one who I had seen some of the stuff on. He's covered all the WFN stuff. Uh, I think Johnny Bravo is a good guy. He's a smaller channel. He's a filmmaker. YouTube is obviously not his main gig because he's clearly got some pretty good equipment, editing software, cameras, everything else. Uh, he's got his own money, and so I saw a video saying that that's what he did early in life. He didn't chase girls. He tried to figure out how to make money. That was more important to him than chasing girls, and it took him a while to learn to chase girls, and that kind of came up in the video he made about Bradley Martin. Uh, some people are like, oh, you're lying. You're full of BS, because I saw that he basically said <laughs> that he knew two different girls, I guess kind of in the fitness scene, <laughs> who had been on Tinder or something else chatting or Snapchat with Bradley Martin, and he had sent them dick pics. Like, he sent girls dick pics, and he's just like, wow, I mean, that's messed up that I've met two different girls who he sent dick pics to, and I saw down in his comments under there, he said Cassidy Campbell knows one of these girls, too, and can tell you the same thing. So I'm like, well, let me check this out. So I started looking, and there's several YouTubers making complaints about the guy who, uh, knowing personally, have business dealings with him and everything else. Um, so I'm like, let me see what's going on. Apparently, this Callum Von something guy, never heard of him before either. I uh, was running some sort of supplement company or shirt company or something and had some business dealings with Bradley. Bradley tried to move in on his girl. Tried to move in on his girl. And uh, tried to steal his company from him. Um, I didn't really care to watch much further because this guy just seems like a whiny, um, basically a whiny pussy. Uh, I just don't get that. And then, you know, the other thing, that when I look at what happened with Bradley and Cassidy, you know, I'll get to that in a minute, I just have to look at this and go, uh, yeah, Bradley seems like a douchebag, but it also seems kind of like you guys had it coming. You didn't, he doesn't respect you guys in any way. And if you guys were real men in any way, he probably would respect you guys enough not to treat you the way that he did. I mean, especially moving in on your girl. Like, I've never known of a guy who would move in on a real man's girl. There's no way they would do it. They would be terrified. Even if they're an alpha male, they know you don't move in on another man's woman. This Callum guy claims you tried to steal his woman from him. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, Callum. If he tried to steal your woman from you and you're a real man, why is he still around? You don't move in on another man's woman unless you know that he's a big floppy pussy. So the fact that he even tried this with you and he knows you, that tells me everything I need to know about you, that another man who knows you would dare do that. Um, that says everything. And that's the thing. you got all these guys in this fitness world. They put on this big tough image, and I know guys accuse me of the same thing too. Um, and that's okay. If that's how you guys want to feel about me, that's cool. That's your prerogative. You know what? You have a right to that prerogative. If you guys think I'm a big floppy pussy, that's your prerogative. 
And it's not like any of you guys have to meet me in real life to find out whether your perspective is true or not anyway. So, you know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But the fact of the matter is a lot of these guys put forward this tough image, but push come to shove, it's stuff like letting another guy in the same industry try to take your woman from you and he's still alive? Damn, that is some beta male behavior. And the thing is, the guys aren't scared and clearly they had no reason to be scared to try because you didn't do anything, didn't do anything about it. Same thing with Cassidy. Now Cassidy and I have a little bit of history uh, and now it makes sense to me why Bradley Martin got my phone number. Bradley Martin has my phone number, had my phone number, uh, because he got it from Cassidy Campbell. Because Cassidy Campbell got it from another acquaintance who I had to call and tell, hey man, uh, you guys need to chill with Cassidy Campbell trying to show up at my gym uh, and, and like ambush video me. Um, I don't play that game with you people. And I told the guy, you're not going to go into details as to what I said or which YouTuber it was. Someone I've known a long time, who I've known since before he was a big YouTuber, since before I was a YouTuber. Someone who, we've known each other longer than we've been on YouTube. So that's kind of a, this is a small community type of You'd be surprised how many people know each other through different circles before they ever got on YouTube. It's really weird. It's a small world. Someone who I knew before we were YouTubers. Um, and I had to tell him, you know, Cassidy's your friend. You guys need to chill on this. This is not going to fly. I'm going to recommend he not try to pull this sort of nonsense again. Uh, you don't show up on me unannounced pointing objects at me. Um, again, don't do that. I'm already lawyered up. But that being said, uh, that person had my phone number. I just realized they gave it to Cassidy. And when Cassidy was hanging out, because I think... Bradley called me shortly after those that was all made. It might have been back in January. Makes sense. Bradley Martin got my phone number. I don't know why he wanted to call me. He never tried to reach me again. He gave up on it. No idea what he wanted. But that was interesting. So at least I know where that came from. But, you know, you got Cassidy there. And I'm sorry, but that was a pathetic story. And it, it reinforces my opinion of Cassidy also. Uh, that Cassidy is one of these little closet case bodybuilding uh, fans uh, running around worried about other men's bodies, showing photos of other men, uh, asking women who they think is sexier instead of approaching women himself and hitting on women himself. Uh, he's showing women other men. I'm sorry, but that is the cuckish thing I've ever seen a fitness YouTuber try. That's reality. That is absurd. And, you know, he was a big Bradley Martin fanboy. Apparently, Bradley had him come out there. He flew out there on his own dollar with some other guy named Cali Aesthetics. I guess that's another YouTuber. Uh, showed up at Bradley's place. Bradley invited him over. Said, yeah, we'll do this big video talking about the industry and everything. And Bradley just blew him off. Invited him. Well, not blew him. Not in that way. Because uh, Bradley's involved in the bodybuilding run. I'm sure he don't do that for free. Um, you know, that G for P lifestyle they got going over there on the West Coast with all these bodybuilders. But Bradley pretty much had him sleep on his couch, didn't give him a blanket, didn't give him a pillow, uh, ended up not doing the video with him, just kind of misled him a couple times after, you know, while he's staying at his house, mind you, he didn't just completely ignore him. He just kind of treated him like he didn't matter. I had him come out there and said he was going to do this video with him and this other YouTuber, and they both slept on his couches and stuff. Didn't give him pillows, didn't give him blankets, didn't meet him at the first place he said he was going to be, then they were going to meet at the gym, and then ignored his text for eight hours. He's got to get into the house to get his stuff back, and it's all locked up. And uh, then asked him like eight hours later, are you okay, bro? Sorry, I was at the gym all day. And then didn't want to do the video with him, and the him and the other guy made the video together in Bradley's home, while Bradley was in the room watching them make this video at 1 in the morning. Uh, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like Bradley completely disrespected you. It sounds like Bradley doesn't respect you at all. Uh, and, you know, the only thing I'm going to say to Bradley, Bradley, you're probably a sociopath based on the things I'm hearing, but, you know, it takes all time to make the world go around. I'm not going to hate on that. Uh, not going to hate on that aspect. But the fact of the matter is you are brave to let one of these closet case cucks like Cassidy Campbell sleep in your house at night because you don't know what he might have tried to do to you in your sleep. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Bradley does the whole G for P things or closet case or whatever else. He's sending his dick pic to a bunch of chicks 
apparently that's the rumor going around so he's probably at least straight somewhat straight oriented even though he's into bodybuilding uh so you know he probably isn't into all that i'll be fair i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say he doesn't swing that way but you know you let cassidy campbell sleep in your house cassidy's kind of creepy dude cassidy's creepy um and he's a big fanboy of yours and you know does all this cuckish stuff and closet case stuff on the internet all the time you know that's ballsy letting him into your house to stay the night but i digress Apparently, the other thing is Bradley kind of used Cassidy to make some money, completely disrespected him, used him to make money, took a bunch of his ideas that he had made memes for and spread around, turned it into a shirt, sold the shirts, made money, uh, admitted that he doesn't, he makes fun of Devin Physique and Shreds and all these guys for not doing their own online coaching because that's a big part of the scam. All these YouTubers offer this online coaching and people pay for it. I'm sorry guys, but if you're paying money because of someone's star power alone who doesn't seem to possess a lot of knowledge, maybe they're where they are purely due to drugs or drugs with genetics and they probably don't know a lot, the fact that you're going to pay them for private coaching because there's a YouTuber instead of going to, I don't know, someone who's got a master's degree in strength, in strength and conditioning who coaches world level athletes or coaches at least semi-pro athletes or college scholarship athletes or someone someone who actually knows what they're doing that you would pay someone because they're a youtuber to coach you you don't have any sense anyways you don't have any sense i'm sorry but that is just sheer stupidity that anyone would hire a youtuber as their coach and i'm not trying to insult my fans the people who enjoy my work is a lot of you guys ask me to coach you but what do i say every time i'm like guys i don't, I don't do online coaching i'm not interested in it you know what it's not my bag I could probably do it. I'm not interested. Uh, and if I really, since I don't want to do it, if I really was about the money on it, I really could just hire someone to coach everyone for me and do all my correspondence the way these guys do. Even Bradley Martin apparently does it while making fun of other people doing it. But you know what? I'm just not really interested in doing that. Uh, I could do that. I mean, it's a great business idea. Use your publicity and fame to get clients and then hire someone more qualified to write the routines and coach people for you and make all the money. I mean, it's a good hustle. It's a good hustle. I'm not going to knock the hustle, um, but it is more than a little dishonest. But again, if you're going to hire people who don't necessarily have knowledge purely based upon them being a YouTuber to coach you, I don't know what to say. Um... You know, think on that one for a minute. But yeah, he does all that. And um, you know what? Bradley does seem, based on these stories, be a bit of a douchebag. But you know what? Uh, he's part of this industry. This industry is ripe with douchebags. That's not anything noteworthy. That's really not worth calling out and saying, oh, man, you're a douchebag, bro. So is everyone else in this industry. So is 90% of this industry. Uh, that's not unique enough to call someone out on. But I will tell you, all these guys who we interacted with, uh, you guys just flat let this guy disrespect you. And if you're going to let another man disrespect you in that way, then you don't deserve respect. If you're going to let another man treat you that way, you do not deserve respect. Although I'm going to say what we did learn from this, don't hire Bradley as your coach unless you want his assistant to be your coach, just like we saw with Devin Physique and Shreds and all these other people. Um, don't let your girl get on Snapchat because he might send them dick pics. Don't let him talk to your girl unless you're sure you could take him out because he might try to hit on her. And don't do business with him because he'll probably try to steal your company or your business. Uh, but, you know, he will tell you everything that's wrong with the fitness industry while he does it. So I guess that's something. <laughs> 